special welcome to this month's edition of the Youth Corner. And today we're going to be talking about discipling your world. Yes, this is what we are up to in these last days. Before the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are about making more disciples. So I'm going to quickly read from us from the book of Matthew 28 and verse 18 in the message translation. It says, Jesus undeterred, went right ahead and gave his charge. God authorized and commanded me to commission you. Go out and train everyone you meet far and near in this way of life, marking them by baptism in the threefold name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Then instruct them in the practice of all I have commanded you. I'll be with you as you do this day after day after day, right up to the end of the age. Brothers and sisters, this is our great commission. Always know that he is with us up to the end of the age. So we are discipling our world. We are making more disciples day after day after day after day. So it's a continuous thing that we are doing. We are always making disciples. And we are gonna get straight into our first point for today. Rather, I'm gonna pose it as a question, which is, how are you discipling the nations? How are you discipling your world around you? Our man of God has taught us that the word that was used here for nations is actually ethnos, which means a group of people with the same interests. So in the different groups that you are, how are you discipling people in the word? We are teaching them the doctrines that are found in the word of God. You know, it's been the month of greater heights and we are just moving higher and higher and higher. We have had greater revelations of who our maker is, thus who we are. And now we have a greater message. Our message is sweeter. It's more potent to other people. So it's time after this time of revelation it's time to showcase all of those things we have received you know after Moses wrote down the words he was given on tablets he went and gave it to the children of Israel he was now discipling his world he was discipling his ethnos he was discipling them in the words he had heard from the master because he took time to sit at the feet of Jesus he chose what was needful like Mary sat down heard the word and was ready to dish it out in a sweet and excellent way that is what's been happening with you and me we have been cooking we have been cooking boiling frying that's what has been happening we've been cooking throughout this month and you know it's now made us ready and ripened to go out with the message for the now to disciple our world you know you have a different um, set of people that you minister to as opposed to me. You have a certain group of people that you have to minister to. I might never meet your family, but you are connected to your family. That's a different ethnos, you know, and you can be discipling people there. In our places of school, where you study, you can be discipling people there. In in your working place, you can be discipling people there. Just have this in your consciousness and in your mind. It's all about discipleship. It's all about making people know, teaching them, teaching them the things we have learned in the word. You know, imagine someone out there who learns the principle of faith. You know, they know that nothing is impossible with God. They know that just with their faith, they can reframe their whole life. They can design their life. You know, you have that word. You have that sweet and potent word to transform someone's life the same way that it has transformed you. You have that same word and you can transform someone else's life just by sharing, just by doing that. So discipling starts with sharing the word. Dish out what you have inside of you. And I'm gonna go straight into my next point. So we have different vehicles of life 
So I've said, for example, your school, your studies, your working place, your family, communities that you're connected to. You know, like maybe you're connected to, for example, I could be connected to a researcher society. So in those different places, those are the vehicles of life that God has specifically designed, so specifically designed for you to outshine by the gospel, to outshine by the word and to disciple. You know, light shines, light gives guidance, light gives direction. So you are the light of the world. You are, you are making disciples and making disciples of people is not set to a fixed person. Everyone is to Once do you it. you are born again, you are commissioned to disciple the nations. You don't have to wait for you to be a certain position or to have a certain amount of the word god uses anyone it's the spirit of god at work in you christianity is divinity at work in humanity when divinity is at work in humanity it causes it you it causes you not to function like a man he speaks through you you don't have to know the words to say he speaks through you so we are just a vessel to be used in those vehicles of life so back to what we're talking about which is the channels so know the channels with which you can impact different people in those vehicles so for example i'm sure in most of the vehicles of life people are connected to your social media your social media is a channel it's one of the biggest channels that we have to preach the gospel before our lord jesus comes you know when i think of social media i understand why jesus said that we are gonna do much more than he did because we have greater reach jesus had to be in a specific place physically you know he had to travel physically but we don't have to travel physically just by the internet just by social media you can you can be like talking to different people at the same time this is an advantage this is our advantage so this is the most advantageous vehicle I mean channel that we have to minister to the different vehicles of life so on your social media share what is happening in the kingdom you are an ambassador so you're an ambassador you want to induct people into this new embassy that you're from as dick and jimmy told us the other time you're from this embassy you want to indoctrinate people into this new place that you are into this new life you know into this new place that you are this new life that we have you want other people to be a partaker of it we have a program coming up super weekend so you share super weekend what is your what is your display photo at this time yeah check out your display photo we have a awesome template for a display photo for super weekend you can put it up there like just share what is going on in the kingdom you know there's something about sharing what you are about that attracts people to you. I'll testify, for example, um, when I was in uni, I was sharing so much about what was happening in terms of Christ Embassy Australia, what was happening. Like I was sharing the live streams, sharing the different youth um, programs that we have, the different various things that we had. I would just share it on my social media and even on my WhatsApp status, I'd share it everywhere. Like people would want to know like, you're different. You're always sharing this thing. What is it about? And people now, you now have like that avenue to talk to them, to disciple them. Because you can't disciple people into something that you're not convicted about. So you have to have the set convictions about what you are sharing on this social media. And what you need to be is consistent. Be consistent on those channels. So you identify those channels and you are consistent and persistent in sharing on those channels. Like stop at nothing to make sure that those channels are always sharing. You know, the more consistent someone is, you know, the Bible says that seest thou a man who is diligent in their ways, they will stand before kings 
and not mere men. You know, it's just diligence at what you the do. The Holy Ghost is at work in us. He is at work in us, in us and through us to be making this work possible. So he is spreading abroad what you are setting, but you have to start. So identify the channels to those vehicles and make sure to be making use of those channels. So I've said one thing is social media, right? One channel is social media. There are many other channels, but for this time, we're just gonna look at that one channel. But this channel is the best channel. There's so many things that you can do on social media. You can find out, like, you can find your passion. The thing about social media is that there's something for every man. Find your passion in social media. You know, there are specific gifts that are in you. Those are other channels, innovations in you, creativity in you. So unlock the creative potentials in you, unlock the innovations in you, the gifts, the talents, the beauties and splendors and the glory that is packaged in you. Wow. It is ready to be taken out to that vehicle. You might say, Beauty, I don't really like social media, but there's a specific channel for you that you can accomplish. And even now, the Holy Ghost can communicate it to you. It's just a matter of asking him. You know, we are in the final and in the latter days. The glory of the latter is greater than the former. You know, we are doing things with ease and by the Holy Ghost. So what I'm saying even now, you can just speak to him now. He can direct you about a channel for this season. There are even certain channels that you focus on in a certain season as the Spirit guides you. So even now, He can guide you and direct you. All He wants is a willing heart. And I know you are I'll willing. Keep it here today. So there's so much to talk about discipling the world. But really, there are many channels many channels towards the vehicles i just want to encourage you that in these last days be all out about the gospel be all out about discipling your nations one thing i've learned is even if you feel like you're doing the most there's more you can do please declare with me there's more that i can do and there is more that i am doing jesus is gonna find us doing his work you know our meat and drink is to do the will of him that has sent us and we are continuing to do it so again i want to say be bold be courageous know that he is with you teach them make them practice this life of christ that we have it's exciting teach them to speak in tongues teach them that laughter is medicine is the medicine they need teach them teach them and teach them indeed indeed the lord is with us glory